Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. So my name is Tai Ali, and I'm the CEO of uh, BusyQA. Today is a very exciting day for us at the office because we're here to announce that BusyQA, in partnership with the Ministry of uh, Citizenship and Multiculturalism, will be launching a seven-month uh, paid tech bootcamp in Ontario for Black youth. This uh, announcement or this uh, program, I think is part of the uh, province um, Black Youth Initiative that was created to um, remove systemic racism or systemic barriers that affect, uh, you know, Black people, you know, from the Black um, descent or Black origin. But um, I'm excited, number one, because uh, this program is an opportunity for me to serve my community, you know, a community I belong to. But more importantly, this program allows um, me to be part of something much bigger than anything I've done so far. So as you guys know, at some point last year, I moved to California, Silicon Valley, to start my third company. And um, I came back, you know, came back home just for this initiative. And it's very, very important to me. Um, in 2021, I believe, uh, during the Black Lives Matters movement and protest, um, I think it was an awakening for me because it was the first time that I got to know the full extent, you know, to which Black people, you know, the, 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 the average or typical Black experience in Canada. And it was, it was, it was um, I had two feelings because um, my Canadian experience has been rosy. I'll be honest, it has been very, very rosy. And I'll talk about that very shortly. But on the other side, you know, I felt sorry for my community. I felt somewhat uh, guilty and I felt, um, what could I do to help? So I, you know, had a meeting next day in the office and we decided, EZQA decided to have a $20,000 uh, scholarship that allowed five black engineers to launch their career in tech. The program was quite successful and I became good friends with those five people. And I reached out to the Ontario government at some point saying, hey, you know, I think you guys are trying to do the same thing. We are doing here as well. Um, we just need more funding so that we can take on more Black uh, students. And they liked the idea and we got funded. So we're about to start this, what I think is a um, one of a kind lifetime opportunity uh, where you get to learn, you know, amazing tech skills. And I mean, these are the future tech skills like artificial intelligence, prompt engineering, uh, cybersecurity, cloud computing, um, DevOps, you know, automation uh, development, core development. You know, these are skills that tech uh, companies, not even tech companies, but these are just skills that, you know, um, you always, always get you um, highly paid jobs. And part of the program as well is you also get paid, you know, while you are doing your co-op internship. And uh, there will be a, you know, networking session at the end of, of your boot camp. You know, hopefully we have partners that will be waiting to hire you. So I am very, very excited and I'm very humbled, you know, because I think Canada, again, is, is shown to um, care. Um, I, for one, as I said, I had a very, very, I still, I have a very rosy uh, view of Canada. And I think that has to do with the fact that, you know, we've been here 23 years, my family, and I remember clearly my first uh, Christmas in Canada. So my mom came home and told me and my sisters to, uh, to create a uh, Christmas wish list. And, you know, we thought, you know, why are they asking us to create a Christmas wish list? And as a kid, we just put everything we could think about on that Christmas list, uh, thinking, let's see what will happen. 
And I remembered on Christmas Day, this is our first Christmas in Canada, um, you know, exactly at 10 o'clock, uh, the doorbell rang. And I believe it was Salvation Army or Secret Santa. They brought every single thing on that list. So that was my first introduction to this very lovely country. And I thought, oh, my God, you know, like they didn't even know us. And they got us everything on our Christmas shopping list. So from that day, I knew my parents made the right choice. I knew my parents chose uh, the right country to migrate us to. And, you know, I just got off to a great start. Fast forward, I started my career. You know, I've had great mentors from every background, every walk of life, uh, so to speak, pull me up, teach me, you know, how to be an amazing tech professional, um, you know, great managers, great leaders, you know, and they've all shown me a lot of love. Um, I remembered that it was one of my mentors that told me, I told him I was starting a new company and he told me to go on a TV show, Dragon's Den. Um, I went on the show, Dragon's Den, and a great Canadian that you probably all know, uh, Jim Trelevin, uh, said yes to me on the TV show. And that kind of kicked off my entrepreneurial journey. I remember, you know, very, very vividly that red folder you get. Uh, you know, from the show. And it was just um, a great launch off for me to start my career uh, in tech. From then on, you know, I was looking for extra money funding for my startup. And I started teaching on weekends because I thought, okay, I think I'm a great communicator or whatever, you know. Um, I'm going to teach my friends um, how to do my job and they'll pay me some amount of money if they get a job as well. And that became busy QA today. Um, I couldn't believe that um, people, especially from the Indo, Indian Canadian community, they came in numbers. And when I mean numbers, at some point I had 50 students in my classroom. I had back to back to back. And I think we're probably, you know, we're probably, we probably have the highest number of tech uh, students in any. Um, training organization at that point. This was about seven, eight years ago. And that that became busy QA, you know, and um and I think that's what Canadian story is all about. You know, a, a diverse group of people all working together, all kind of helping each other out. And that's been my experience. So I say a big thank you to the Indian, Asian, Canadian community for the love that they've shown me over my career, over my businesses. You know, because I won't be here today or Busy Cuba will be here today without their uh, patronization of our services. So, so you can imagine from then on, um, I started, um, I, I, I went on again to, to start my third company. And then I got a call and I said, okay, I'm going to tell my, my co-founders, I'll be right back. You know, I have to give back to my community. So guys, I'm very, very excited. I think this is a very, very great day. And um, I, I'm asking you all to go on the website if you qualify. Uh, you have to be person of a black identified person or background. Um, you have to be between the ages of 18 to 34. And um, you have to be have, you have to have that strong desire to be a part of a seven month boot camp. Because um, that would be obviously will come with a lot of requirements as well. So check it out and, um, you know, come learn with me. I think I've done quite okay. And um, I'm excited as well to have that chance to give back, you know, to the next uh, next Black generation coming up. I'm not that old, but, uh, you know, I think I'm clearly a millennial. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to uh, interact with all the Gen Zs and see how we can help launch a lot of uh, careers out there. So check it out, guys. It's a good day for us. Thank you very much for listening to me ramble. And uh, but yeah, I just felt I had to say something officially um, before you guys start seeing a lot of our ads and marketing materials out there. I wanted you guys to hear from me personally. So thank you, Ontario. Thank you to the ministry. Thank you, Canada. You know, thank you to our great community that everyone all pulled in for this Black Youth Initiative. And I'm very, very confident, guys, that. Not only are we going to change Ontario, not only are we going to change the tech space, but we are about to start something way, 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 way more bigger than any of us can ever imagine. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you on the other side.
Bye now.